Here it goes with this big fraction. No worries, just bring up the partial fractions. It's a math guy, Steve. Evaluate the integral of x squared plus 1 over x cubed plus 3x squared plus 3x plus 1 dx. So, how we evaluate this is by trying to factor this denominator. Now, using partial fraction decomposition, um, if there's any factors that repeat, then we know we have to have that factor by itself, and then also every many times until we get to how many times it repeats. In other words, all of them will have a numerator that is constant, okay? So the lowest one is constant, all of them will have a constant numerator. So A, B, and C. This gives us X squared plus one equals A times X plus one squared plus B times X plus one, and then just plus C by itself, got it. Now we multiply this how we can equate the coefficients on both sides. So, we, so now we look at the X squared on both sides. There's one X squared on the left-hand side. That should equal just the AX squared on the right-hand side. So A equals one, we got part of it. Okay, we also know that on the left-hand side, the X terms, we have no X terms on the left-hand side, but on the right-hand side, we have a two AX and then also plus a B, okay? And then on the left hand side we have one as the constant on the right hand side we have three constants a plus b plus c and so three equations three variables is a system let's solve it right thus our new integral becomes the integral of one over x plus one uh, plus negative two over x plus one squared and then plus two over x plus one cubed dx and now you know that this first one would be the ln of the absolute value of x plus one the second one would be negative 2, and then now we use our power rule, right? So it's x plus 1 to the negative 1 divided by that negative 1. And the third one is similar, right? We have 2, this becomes x plus 1 to the negative 2 divided by that negative 2. Now that we're done integrating, don't forget the plus c. So finally, we get ln of absolute value of x plus 1 plus, plus 2 over x plus 1, then minus 1 over x plus 1 as a quantity squared plus c. Always remember, math is everywhere.